Hello, and welcome to another episode with the Autistic Angler. This evening, I'm fishing behind the pyramids. And this morning, I went over to the harbour and I dug some lugworms. So I've only just got here. I'm trying something out a bit different tonight. Um, it's not totally my idea. I've copied it from Totally Awesome Fishing's Graham. Or not exactly. But I've bodged. Another cup on. So I could have three rods tonight. The only thing I did wrong th this morning though is I put this on this side. I should have put, tucked it on the, on, on the other side up here and then I wouldn't have had much to get in the way of the rod there. But I could change that if this stays. So I made this out of a bit of uh, an old tub. No trouble is today I've left it too late to get some rocks. So I guess I'll just stick the weights in here and stuff for tonight. Now, I think we'll go with the shorter one. So that's the Robex because it's 12 foot with the worms. Oh, you muppet. Do you know what I've got to done? I didn't bring a third bloody wheel down. I knew I was going to forget that. No, it's too late now. I'm not going back for it. So we're just fishing two rods then. Thought it was all going too swimmingly today. Because I'm not used to bringing three rods down or having a spare wheel, didn't even occur to me. Oh well, I've got plenty of time to try it out anyway. So high tide is about 20 past 8 and it's about 5 past 6 at the moment. So I've got a couple of hours, there's people swimming over there. There seems to be people on the boat deck, on the pier. But an eight pound of rod for nights, you won't catch me doing it. Well, let's just have a look. You know what, that would actually do all right as well. If only I'd bought my three down. You know what, I think I've lost my baiting needles as well. I had two when I was fishing the other day and I looked in my box this morning and I couldn't see a single one in there. And this is what I dug, look. Some uh, fresh blow lug. So exactly as the other day then, three hooks all on booms with the bottom one on a longer boom 
So I'm going to chuck this one just short of parallel, or just over parallel with the uh, beach. Out that way. I've got some mighty bright tape that I've stuck on the end of the uh, the rod tonight in red. So hopefully that will show up nicely later. One goes in the cut, like that one. This is going to need to go. Do you know what? That will fit there quite nicely. Got it rested on the rod stand at the, the bottom. I reckon that might work, you know. If I put that nut on the other side of the plastic, Ah, there you go. It didn't like being on there. It, it, okay. I can put a cup down there easy enough. Yeah. That's going to work. Tell you what, with all that, uh, the fact that I haven't got the extra weight in, I might bring the rod back a bit tonight. Don't like the feel of it being so close to the water. This little rough patch here might hold the uh, the legs all right. And I could have that down like that. Let's try that. Yeah a little bit happier with that because that's not so so close to the water now. Because if anything should have happened did it took them in don't think I would have been very happy. Now we'll go with that and see. So I'll just go straight with the pulley. I think I've probably got a wrap from the other day that I could use. Yeah, so I'm planning on doing two down, uh, two up and two down, with maybe a little bit extra. Yeah, it'll have to wait and see what happens. If I start catching a load of fish, then I'll be later. If I catch nothing at all, probably leave earlier. Out of thought, where is everything? Tell you something, this, uh, this new pit's pretty good. It's not thermal lines though. Well, I didn't want thermal lines, I wanted something I could move around in. And hopefully, the knees won't go in them. These are must do inshore ones. I read on the World Sea Fishing Forums that these are good. When I bought them, I managed to buy last year's line, so they was a bit cheaper. Plus I wanted something. That would be foul weather because I noticed the uh, the IMAX stuff and the um, Sundridge stuff I had last year didn't like the the, the winter weather. I was getting too wet considering I had all that stuff on, but I reckon. With inshore sailing stuff, I should be alright this year. Shame I didn't have it out the other night. But I didn't think it was cold enough. The last couple of nights it's been quite cold. So I thought, well I'll give it a go tonight, before the winter sets in. Then I can find out what it needs 
you know, what I need to wear underneath it, whether I need thermals underneath it or just normal trousers or what. Yeah, that went out all right. Like I said the other day, the seven ounce on this six and base seems to work a lot better for me. It loads the rod up better. Fishing. Pretty obviously, I'm fishing on my own as well. Not a lot of clouds around tonight. Moon's on the half moon. Just over half the moon actually, because we've just gone past the deep tide. What are we, we're building now. I don't know if that's waxing or waning, but it's building up to a, a spring tide in a, a week or so. Southbury Pier's all shine, shiny in the sun. They got the old uh, pier still running for the summer. Time to check the room, mate. Now the bottom one's completely untouched. The middle one is untouched, but the top one's gone. That's strange. Why would the top one go and the other two not? I'm definitely getting bites on the squid and mackerel. I'm just wondering if it's uh, crab. They weren't looking like proper fish bites. But there was definitely something going on. Looking more like crabs on the other one now. Oh well. So it's 20 past 7, an hour before high tide then. I haven't had any more bites. Any more bites? I haven't had any bites. Not that I've noticed. Yeah, it's getting dark. There seems to be a load of people on the boat deck fishing. And there's only me down here. And there's nobody on the beach fishing either. That, nothing really to show you. Look how good that mighty bite is, look. That's fantastic. Right, let's keep a close eye on that then. I got just wipe my hands, they're covered in worm juice. Gotta bring the worm bait in.
Keeping it closer in to the shore now. Getting bites on the worms. So it feels heavier. And it's on the surface. I think we've got a fish on, guys. Yes, we have. So, what we got? Ah! Little smooth out. So it's high tide now. Right, I've had enough. Well, we can't win a wall. So that's me done.